thanks for stopping by Aprons by Amy. Welcome to this nice, beautiful, wintry day. Joe, pan out there so they can see really what I'm dealing with. This is why I want to start a new fund called Aprons for Hawaii. <laughs> so that I can move to Hawaii. Doesn't that sound nice? I live in Utah. I can't get away from the snow, and frankly, I'm sick of it. But anyway, I'm out here in my sunroom, which is also our our apron showroom because we have lots of people who like to stop by and make appointments to see our aprons and so we like to hang out here. This is also the place where I like to come and have tea with my little kidlets. Um, yeah, it's a little tradition we try and do. No, we don't do it every day, but we're working on it. That's my New Year's resolution, tea and goodies every day. I think we need lots of it. Anyway, today I'm wearing my fabulous 50s blue apron. La la la. No, I love it. And I had to wear the perfect dress to go underneath it because I found this actually, if you can believe it, at Kohl's uh, a few years back. And it was like the perfect throwback to the 1950s. Little cute waist and gathered and, and full skirt. And I love it. And it goes great with aprons. And this is a perfect hostess apron. And I've been having a lot of success with these. You really seem to like these fabulous 50s aprons. So thank you for stopping and also for buying and for being so generous because you know, the aprons for autism thing is going smashingly well. I just had a, a meeting with the ladies this past week where we were discussing other ideas that are going to be appearing under the aprons for autism button. So you'll need to check back for that because I really have some great ideas. I can't wait to share them with you. Speaking of great things. Well, I'm extra happy, extra peppy, extra excited because we had a miracle. Okay, we had a miracle in our life. And my husband's gonna tell you about that because it had to do with him. And we're going to be sharing it with you, uh, those things that happened actually partially in my recipe book. Um, my husband's been kind of my total transformation uh, on the health end of things. He wasn't buying in for a long time. He was one of those typical kids that was raised on every sugary cereal you could just about find. and. Anyway, his health deteriorated here, and um, we had some bad news that we found out right before Christmas, that he had a tumor, and he had a, a, an ulcer the size of his fist, which he's had, we've known about the ulcer for a long time, but the tumor, that was a surprise. But we'll have you, we'll give you the little scoop on everything, and um, anyway, all I'm going to say is we had a miracle, they still happen. Um, and so I'm very excited about that. That, that, I don't even know where to go with that. That's just fantastic. So he's going to have a button where we're going to have on the sideline where it says C is for cure. So anyway, be prepared for that. Do we do everything on our site? Yeah. Are we a one-stop shop? Yeah. Do we talk about it all? Yeah, of course we do because you know what? That's life, isn't it? We're multifaceted. We do more than one thing at a time. And, and even though moms like to look cute when they're cooking in the kitchen, we know that life has its fair share of guano you're going to have to shovel, the real deal, you know what I mean? It's not all beautiful, you know, tea cakes and, and, and goodies. It's, it's life is serious. Life has its moments where it's just not always going to be easy. And you know what? I know all about it. So my heart goes out to you if you're currently going through some tough times, you know. But um, we'll find some ways to make ourselves happy. And the one thing that I can tell you that has helped me is true, getting dressed up. I, I know some people might think, whatever. But you know, I know it's true that to change your physical a state will change your mental state. And if you feel like junk, and you're dressed like junk, and your attitude's depressed, if you'll take a minute to say, you know what, I'm worth doing something with myself today. I'm worth putting on a cute apron. I'm worth making a scrumptious meal for my kids. I'm worth putting on a smile. And you're going to have a better day. And I know that's true, because it's made a difference in my life. Because like I said, we all have our fair share. and. Uh, so anyway, let's scoot over to something exciting. Speaking of aprons, see my friend Betty decided to join us today. And Betty is wearing the um, Wild Irish Rose apron that I have um, got especially on her today because Val not Valentine's has passed, you know that, but St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And, you know, I'm Irish, so it's special to me. So I had to have an Irish apron. So I recommend that you... Uh, Think about getting this and throwing it on yourself and having some awesome Irish stew, which I'll be posting a recipe for. Some awesome Irish soda bread, which also will be coming up. And Irish trifle. Ooh, yes. 
That is my favorite indulgence this time of year. So I would challenge you to come up with something fun for St. Patrick's Day because it's one of those, you know, depending on who you are, maybe lesser celebrated holidays, but at my house, it's a big deal. And like I said, Kelly was my maiden name, so Irish roots go deep here, folks. Anyway, but this is, like I said, our wild Irish rose apron with two little pockets on the side trimmed out in the red, and I love it on, and believe me, it's even better on. So ladies, guys, whoever you are that's coming by to check us out, thank you for your support. We love you. Have a great day, even if it's in the middle of a nice snowy day. And uh, we'll see you back here later at apronsbyandy.com.